Welcome back, y'all. Uh, I'm going to do a string of videos where I make liqueurs. Now, liqueurs recommended to have about 40 proof. I know a lot of people in a pissing match are getting angry. They don't drink nothing under 80 or 90 or 100. But this is liqueur. This is something you make, you know, this is separate from moonshine. But I am using moonshine. So, I did an experiment. Uh with with moonshine and and water i use fiji spring water because i know that i swear by going down with distilled and i do this stuff will never leave you cloudy unless you go below a certain certain uh proof use this still stay crystal clear because somebody told me that they use spring water and this is a, this got a really good, this is a really good water. I like drinking this when, when I'm, when I got a pocket full of money. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when I don't, I, I drink, uh, uh, you know, cheaper water. But, but this didn't make it cloudy until I got under a certain proof. No matter what you do, if you got more water than alcohol, it's going to be cloudy. So, so going down to 40 it clouds up. See how it's a little bit cloudy? It's no longer crystal clear. So, water it down till it's 40 proof. We're going to make a liqueur. We're going to make a schnapps. going to make, you know, things like that. Sipping cream. You don't want it to be super strong. You're making a drink for the ladies. So now we're going to filter it to clear it back up. I mean, you probably don't have to do that because we're going to change the color. You ain't going to be able to see this. But just just for for me, I, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna clear it up. So also, uh, I don't normally do this. I don't normally normally make my own recipes. Normally make my own ideas. But uh, Bama, uh, this one's for you, buddy. Bama's driving me crazy with this. He said he wants a recipe for this because he loves this shit. It's uh. Old Smokey's Banana Pudding Cream Moonshine, right? So I'm going to make my own version of this. And I'm going to taste them side by side and see which one I like better. But I've never done this, so you're watching it happen. So I'm either going to succeed or I'm going to fail. Uh, hopefully I could uh, get it as good as theirs. It is, I tried this. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. Uh, you know, I normally wouldn't wouldn't even attempt to try anything like this from the store but this is pretty good stuff as far as you know bananas go cream liqueurs and i believe that's 40 proof yeah 35 proof 35 proof okay so by the time i add other stuff ours will probably be that too but let's uh Let's clear this up. I'll come back to you once I'm done doing this slow, tedious crap right here. I need a new filter. I don't feel like going to uh, the store and getting one. So I ran it through that. It was still a little cloudy. I ran it through my aqua gear. It's cleaning it up a little bit. It's, it's clear, but not the clearest, but it doesn't really matter. It's just looks. It doesn't mean anything except for it has more water in it than it does alcohol. That's all that means. Uh, I've used this in the past. This is amazing. Let's see how it works in liquor, uh, post flavoring. I've used this in um, putting it in my thumper. I put this in my thumper when I made something I called banana cream pie, but it was, it was liquor. It was, wasn't post flavored. Now we're going to post flavor, which means flavoring it after the fact. I'm going to start out with this little pint jar. Do about that. So this is our measurement and, uh, let's see how this works. Manners. 
So I'm going to start with teaspoons. So one pint. One teaspoon. Two teaspoons. Let's go three. See what happens. Three teaspoons. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. I want it to get thick. You know this is pudding, so it's going to thicken it up. It's nowhere near thick enough. Let's go four. Five. Screw it. Let's go six of them so far. Six. Now, it will get thicker the colder it gets, but I can already tell. I want three more. Seven. Eight. Nine. Let's go ten. Ten teaspoons. Somebody do the math. What's ten teaspoons in tablespoons? How many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'll look it up. And then I'll act like I knew. I, I, I knew that all this time. <laughs> I forget everything. I probably knew it one time. She's starting to get there. That's 10 teaspoons. And a pint of 40 proof liquor. Making a sipping cream. Ooh. It's not there yet, boys. Mm. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Mine is definitely a stronger proof than that one. Still not getting that thickness yet. But you know that might happen if I wait a little while. And it'll definitely happen if I refrigerate it. Let's see what this looks like. There's this white. There's this completely white. I mean, this is going a totally different direction, but it's still banana cream, man. It's still amazing. Um, I think I need more creaminess. I think uh, I think I need some sort of uh, maybe a coffee creamer or something to give it that creamy, creamy whiteness. But let's go. Let's go three more. Where was I at? Was I at 13? 14? 15? 16? I think a hint of nutmeg and a hint of cinnamon would do this well. Might make something totally different, but way fucking better. That's pretty good though. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give my hat off to them fellers. Uh, that banana pudding from from Old Smoky. That's pretty good shit. I don't even really like banana that much. It's not my favorite fruit. That's for sure. It's starting to get there though. That's definitely a sipping cream now. Sipping cream liqueur. Holy shit. Holy shit. What, we at 15 teaspoons in that? 
That's thick. If you put that in the fridge, it might get too thick. You might have to stay back to, you know. However many I put in there, I'll have to go back and watch the video. <laughs> but that's that's starting to get thick. That's so banana. That's absolute banana. That's We got the banana factor. And I guess it's banana cream. We got the flavor. But we just don't have that color like them. Shit, ours is thicker now. Oh yeah, that's about the same thickness. That's what we want, right there. Holy shit, that is good. The only difference is our color is yellow, like a banana. And theirs is fucking like coffee cream. So, check this out. Hold on one second. Alright, so I had to go to the grocery store. I got all kinds of shit. I'm like all kinds of shit. Alright, let's see here. Splash of dash. A dash. A ground nutmeg. Just a little bit. Just a little tiny bit. You don't want it to taste like soap. Couple of little dashes of cinnamon. Yeah. French vanilla. Coffee creamer. Let's try her. See if we get that cream factor. Put a little white in it, you know? Get a little white looking. Oh, it changed the color a little bit. A little creamier. off the hook bro I say that's a winner all day long that's a winner mm. I think mine's better I like mine better However, that's a preference. If you like this one better, you try this and you like this better, then use a whole bunch more coffee creamer because that's what that is. It is super extreme, but I think it takes away from the banana. Uh, I think that's a win for sure. I don't see you handing that to anybody and then being like, I don't like that. That's, that's, I don't even like bananas and that's good as shit. I mean, they're both extremely good. But I, I think I did a good job. Uh, try this and then try that. And let me know which one you think's better. You ain't going to hurt my feelings. Uh, but I think that, I think that's my version of banana cream liqueur. Banana cream liqueur. Check it out. Try it. I'm going to make all kinds of cream liqueur videos. See y'all later. Alright, so I went to the store. I seen this one. It's Banana Shake from Sonic. And I got to know what the taste difference is. So let's make one with banana shake in it. I gotta say that I really like the way this pudding comes out in alcohol. And I've, I've, I went to work, come back, you know, my hand, I can't get it off, but you know, hands are dirty. I've had this in the fridge all day. And that's how thick it is. It's good and thick. It's not too thick. 
Because the cinnamon, you got to, you know, shake the cinnamon into it. <laughs> it don't get much better than that, dude. I think that's a winner, Bama. You wanted, you wanted it. Thirteen teaspoons in a pint. Leave a little bit, you know. Leave a little room to put the pudding and everything. If you pour that in a shot glass with a little bit of whipped cream on top, holy shit, that'd be badass. Let's try the Sonic. Banana shake. I can't get over how good this is. This is definitely a winner. It's so good that I'm going to do all kinds of pudding. All kinds of sipping creams made with pudding. So, basically a whole pack when it comes to the Sonic. There's quite a bit left of this one. This this one must be, this is 3.3 uh, ounces. This is 5.1 ounces. So, almost the entire pack of the Sonic. Let's see, let's see. Maybe it takes a minute. This one thickened up quite a bit. Look at the consistency. Look at that. That's that is fucking awesome. That is perfect. 13 teaspoons put in just under a pint worth of liquor. This one's even more yellow than the last one before I put the cream in it. Let's see how it smells. It smells like banana. It's starting to get thick. That's a different flavor. It's good. Uh, it's hard to say which one's better, but it's definitely different. That's definitely a, a banana shake. Let's coffee creamer it up. Right? Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, this is optional, but you, you got to have some cinnamon in it. You know what I mean? You're going to bake a cake. You're going to make a pie. Put a little cinnamon in that bad boy. Little tiny bit nutmeg. Not too much because, you know, it came out tasting soapy. Let's shake that bad boy up. I need a sticker. Maybe is there a, there a pin? In that top left drawer. I need to mark them. So I'm going to need to do a taste test, a blind taste test with somebody. See which one's better. Huh. I'll take it. Oh man, that's good. It's a different flavor. I think they're both amazing, but I do think that I like this one better, the the Jello. Sonic.
B-A-N-A-N-A. But they turned out just about the same. Different flavors. This, this is my favorite out of these three. Um, this might get better if it's cold. This is pretty dang good. Um, I think there's way too much creaminess in this. Like, I, like, I think like half this thing's probably, you know, it, it's probably creamer. <laughs> I think a little bit of that creamer goes a long way. Look, I mean, look at that. Still has a yellow, yellow tint to it. It looks banana. This is just white. This looks like pure coffee creamer. I'm not dogging it because this is pretty dang good. But this is my version right here. I'm going to go with the, the banana cream. Sonic's pretty damn good too. You guys try them. Let me know what you think. Compare them. Let me know if you th think this is better than this. Because, you know, I'm going to be biased. Because I made this and they made that. You know what I mean? But I, I, you can't beat this either way. And this is homemade. So you try it. Let me know in the comments what you think. And, you know... Uh, shine on.